Judith Rosenbaum, Executive Director of the Jewish Women's Archive. October 11, 1991 marked the beginning of the second round of confirmation hearings for Supreme Court nominee Clarence Thomas. These hearings, of course, became famous for their focus on Anita Hill's accusation of sexual workplace harassment by Thomas. The story had actually gone public five days earlier, broken by NPR legal affairs correspondent Nina Totenberg, who convinced Hill to go public with her testimony, which until then had only been known by the Judiciary Committee, which had not pursued it. The hearings lasted three days and they were absolutely riveting. I was a freshman in college at the time and I remember a whole bunch of us gathering in my friend's dorm room around her small TV and watching the hearings, very much aware of the fact that we were watching history in the making. Anita Hill's testimony and the hearings really sparked a turning point in national treatment of sexual harassment. Um, the number of sexual harassment charges went up by 70, 72% over the next year as more women felt empowered to uh, go public with their own experiences. I think that this story shows us not only what uh, a sensitive and insightful journalist Nina Totenberg was in recognizing that this story was flying under the radar and needed to be told, but also really shows the power of one woman being brave enough to tell her story and everything that that can make possible for other people. I think it also teaches us a lot about intersectionality. This, the hearings were very controversial because they seemingly pitted race against gender, but they also sparked a conversation about the ways that different kinds of oppression can both reinforce one another and intersect and overlap and also sometimes come into conflict.